Welcome back. So today we're going to be discussing the brand new Assault Engineer Squad that just dropped with the most recent days of the event. So, they are the 157th Engineer Battalion of the 57th Infantry Division, per their description. The division was formed in August of 1939 as part of the second wave of mobilization. They took part in the invasion of Poland, Barbarossa, Kursk, and other operations. So, what are you getting? Well, when you unlock these guys, you get a six-man engineer squad. They are all engineers. No one can be swapped out in this squad, so there's no specialist versatility or anything like that. They do, however, come with a unique appearance. It's set by default to Moscow, and admittedly, I should have checked and looked closer to see if they actually keep their jackets when they go into other campaigns. Um, if you switch their outfits location in the hangar, then their jacket does change, but the helmet stays. And the helmet is basically your standard Stahlhelm with the front half uh, with an add-on armor plate. Which is kind of neat. In the event description, they talked about how they'd have uh, better headshot resistance. I think it halves the damage from headshots. So that's kind of nice. In addition to that, they come with fully upgraded MKB-42s. They come with their construction hammers. They all come with shovels, large backpacks, and explosive packs. So... All things considered, as far as event squads go, they are actually a pretty good squad. And... They do have some benefits in that you can actually swap out their weapons, which is perhaps unusual for event squads. So let's look at their default loadout. By default, they come with the MKB-42H. And if you're somebody who has all of Germany unlocked, you probably are familiar with the various assault rifles, but if this is your first taste of high tier Germany, let me introduce you to your three main candidates for assault rifle. And actually, to this point, they are actually limited on what they equip. These assault engineers are not engineers that can equip all assault weapons. These are engineers that can equip standard engineer weapons and in addition to that, they can equip assault rifles specifically. So, as I said, by default they come with the MKB-42H. The MKB hits for 9.6 at 10 meters, 7.5 at 100 meters. It has a muzzle velocity of 680, fire rate of 500, reload time of 2.4, and 3810 for recoil with a 30 round magazine, and it fires in auto and semi-auto. Now, this is basically the introductory assault rifle to the German tech tree. In the past, this was available in earlier campaigns, and to be entirely honest, I don't think that this should be a BR-5 weapon, but I'll probably make another video on that in the future. It's something I've been putting off for a long time now. It does, however, have two chief competitors. Number one is the MP43-1, which used to come from the Normandy campaign, but now it sits in the tech tree right after the MKB. And the MP43, this is for fully upgraded assault rifles, by the way. At 10 meters, it does 9.6. At 100 meters, it does 7.5. Shoots at 680. See, there's a common theme here. They fire the same bullet. However, it has a fire rate of 600 rounds a minute with a reload time of 2.6. So you're shooting faster, reloading marginally slower. The, re the uh, recoil is better, though, at 35.9. And this will be a theme as we look at these. Everything else is identical. 30-round magazine, auto, semi-auto. 
Now, moving on from there, your last option is the STG-44, which is same stats for the bullet, same damage, same muzzle velocity, but this shoots at 650. The reload time of 2.6, same as the 43, with horizontal and vertical of 8 and 33. So, basically, as you progress through the assault rifles, you end up getting better recoil control, more fire rate, but you take 0.2 seconds longer to reload, which arguably is more impactful on the 43, because at the 44, you're not just shooting at 100 rounds a minute faster, you're shooting at 150 rounds a minute faster. And the other thing to note with assault rifles that differs from submachine guns is as you upgrade them, they don't shoot faster. Assault rifles have a fixed fire rate. They, they improve their recoil reduction, they improve their accuracy, and they improve their hit power. But they do not shoot faster. Now, you can make an argument that the STG-44 shoots too quickly at 650. Okay, in that case, take the MP-43. You do have that choice. It's completely up to you. And if you're using these guys with their standard weapon, the MKB-42H is absolutely enough to get the job done. It is not a terrible weapon. It's honestly a perfectly adequate weapon, and you have the benefit of it being fully upgraded so it's doing full damage. So, this is to say, if you are somebody who does not have the ability, or the silver, or whatever, to fully upgrade MP43s or STG44s, I would probably just stick with the MKB. Because I think the extra damage per shot is probably worth more than the extra 100 to 150 rounds a minute that you're going to get with the other two. That being said, I ran the matches that I recorded with the MKB-42 because I wanted to run three squads side by side with each of the different weapons to kind of give a comparison. Personally, once I finished that, I went and got STGs for everybody, and now they all have STGs. I just think the STG is a better gun. The other thing, while we're on the topic of things that I swapped on them, I gave them all Lugers. I just like the Luger. I think it's a cool pistol. I gave them all AP mines, flasks, and I swapped their large backpacks for large ammo packs. So, I think you could really go either way on the ammo. This is an engineer squad, so everybody in the squad can build an ammo box. And it's not that big of a stretch to either play around your ammo box or to just plop one down as needed. That being said, I like having large ammo bags because it lets me really just let loose. There are times where, and there, there are clips of this that I'll probably include, where I know the general area where the enemy is. Like, I've seen them, like, running between bushes or crossing a road or whatever, and I'll kind of just, like, suppress that area, and I'll usually, you know, get lucky and hit somebody. But if I only had the standard load of uh, 30 and 90, so it's, like, one magazine and three reloads, I could do that, but the, the ammo goes pretty quickly, so I... I would be much more disciplined with what I shoot at. That being said, I've been tempted to run half and half on the squad, and because if you have the extra med kits, it means you can go down more times and get back up, and that makes the squad more survivable, and it kind of just makes it feel better. But it's really just personal preference, you could go either way. As far as the shovels, they're nice to have. Uh, you could swap them for axes if you wanted to be able to run around a little bit quicker, since you get a charge bonus with axes. And you could swap out some of them from having explosive packs to having grenades. 
Or you could swap their mines for TNT or anti-tank mines. It's really up to you. I find putting down AT mines not to be the most reliable thing in the world. Uh, it requires a map that funnels vehicles, but it also requires people to actually drive forward, and they don't always do that. So, if you're not running this squad at high BR, because this is actually an option that you have, you can run them in place of a normal engineer squad, and you don't lose much for it. You're able to give them any of the standard bolt-action rifles, any of the shotguns, the semi-auto rifles. You can even give them FG-42s if that's your persuasion. And you could theoretically mix and match. You could give, say, four out of the six guys STGs, and then two of the guys you could give them, like, FG-42s or, you know, whatever. And that is a perfectly valid option. So, this does give them some value to a new player, for example. That being said, if you do play them down, I think they lose a lot of their value. Like, what stands out about this squad is that they're a full engineer squad and they can use STGs. If you compare them to an assault squad, assault squads have one more guy, they can take specialists, depending on how you equip them. Like, one of mine that I ran in this is four assaulters, a sniper, which for Germany at BR5, a sniper is basically just an assaulter with a scope, an engineer, and an AT soldier. So, what I'm really missing out on from this squad is an AT soldier. If I look at my other assault squad I ran alongside this, it has a machine gunner, an engineer, and an AT soldier. All I'm really missing out on is a machine gunner or an AT soldier. But at BR5, machine guns and assault rifles and submachine guns are pretty interchangeable. They all can be very effective. So I don't feel like you're losing out that much versus a same tier assault squad. If you compare it to a same BR engineer squad, you do have some other options upgrade-wise. Like, you can instead decide to take AT, like two AT soldiers, or an assaulter and an AT soldier. And, or like, in some cases it's like a medic and, and a radio operator. It depends on, on the engineer squad and what upgrades they have available. But, you do get some specialist access. Whether or not that's actually worth taking at BR5, eh. I think having the ability to have six guys that can build the whole engineer kit, and at the same time, all have assault rifles, I think that's pretty valuable. The problem with them lies in when you take them down to like BR2 or BR3 or whatever, at that point, because they're no longer equipped differently than other engineer squads, I think you're better off just running your tech tree engineer squads, because your tech tree engineers can take AT soldiers, and like BR3 German AT soldiers are really, really good. Um, likewise, you, you can get more benefit at BR2 or 3 by putting a medic and an assault soldier on because they can actually use submachine guns and the assault engineers cannot use submachine guns. What would make this squad absolutely cracked at every BR is if they could just equip all of the assault weapons in the game and if they could run around at BR5 with any of the assault rifles and then they could run around at BR2 with MP40s I think this squad would be amazing at every BR. And right now, I think that they're useful at BR5. They're good enough that you could seriously consider using them. But at the same time, when you play them down, they don't really bring anything different to the table. The, the headshot reduction is neat, I guess. 
Um, but I feel like that's just a gimmick. It's not really enough to make me want to play them over a different squad. And you do have the benefit of them already being fully upgraded, and you don't have to unlock anything on them. So you do have that benefit, too. If, um, if you're just grinding stuff, and you don't want to take the time to level up a squad, or if you're a free-to-play player, for example, and getting upgrades on squads takes an eternity, then that is a good enough reason to take these guys down to BR2 and use them there. So, they get my seal of approval. I think that as far as recent event squads go, they're, they're better, in my opinion, than the half-track squads. They're better than the New Year's Assault squads. They're not as good as paratroopers, but I don't think anything ever will. So, as far as a non-paratrooper event squad goes, th this is honestly a pretty good deal. I like them. In addition to that, as somebody who had Stalingrad access, I appreciate that there were other incentives for me to sit here and do the event. Getting the extra gold order uh, weapon and soldier is nice. Although, to be honest, I'm sitting on like three gold order soldiers and I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. Um, but the weapons are nice. Otherwise, I probably would have completely skipped out on the event and waited for the end to just claim them. But yeah, let me know what you think of your engineers. Are they everything that you hoped they'd be? I mean, at least to me, they're pretty much exactly what they were in Stalingrad, so it was kind of a known quantity to me. I'm not really surprised with how they turned out. I'm more curious to see how the Russian ones turn out, because I'm pretty sure that they're coming with like AS44s or something like that. I imagine what they'll be able to use is like AS44s or Fedorovs. But I guess we'll see. So as per usual, get out there, kick ass, take names, and win your games.